I mean, just just look at these fucking arms on these look things. Look at these, yeah, look at the fucking forearms on this motherfucker. Yeah, and like 80% of that is like, 80% uh, of that, that body weight, 80% of that body weight is like pure muscle. That thing look is going it. to hit you once and your neck is going to snap back like a Pez dispenser. Look you're at that get, shit. You're going to get fucking whiplash from hell from a single punch, yeah. Now, even more, even more staggeringly, like, 40, uh, 30% of Americans think they could take, like, think they could take on an eagle with their bare hands and win. That's a maybe. That's a yeah, maybe. maybe. That's a very big maybe. It basically determines. Basically, the determining factor is who gets the first hit like and where. Yeah, can, yeah. Can you get? Can you get your hand around its neck? Yeah, if you can get your hands around its neck, that's basically game. Uh, because if you of... can get your hands on its wings, yeah, that too. But like, its wings are also really fucking strong. Cause people are like, oh, I'll just go for the wings because they're hollow and easily break. You realize they have to generate a fuck ton of force to fly. <laughs> they're, they're not gonna hold still while you grab their wings. Do you know what I f like? <laughs> Do you know what I find hilarious? Nine percent of them, even above the gorilla, nine percent of them think it, think they could take on a crocodile, not an alligator, a crocodile, barehanded no. and win. You're fucking no. insane. Because do like, even, oh, do they even know the, the they even know the fucking the hack? Does the I hack have, even apply to crocodiles? Have they have they is have it, they ever is it have they is it both of them? Have they ever seen a saltwater crocodile? You mean the fuckers that can grow to be twenty feet long? <laughs> you mean the dinosaur? Yeah. Yeah, and have been known to hunt sharks. The hey, things the that have it is it has not evolved in several million years. You want to know why? Million, ten million it's, years because it's an apex predator. Because it is already perfect. There is no flaw. You cannot improve upon perfection. The crocodile is a, is a perfect being. It's like it's like in the Russian in a Russian badger video. One of his friends was talking about how on Resident on a uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. He was like, I got Arthur Morgan oh, drug on liquor and walked into the swamp with a knife to take on an alligator. Do you know who won? I got a few good stabs in, and then the gator got me in a death roll and ripped my fucking oh, throat out. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. death roll is the key. And it's like, you don't even have the benefit of a knife, and that's an alligator. Yeah. The alligators are, are pound for pound smaller than a croc. <laughs> no. I would... I, what sounds good to you? 8% of them also think that they could take on an elephant with their bare hands and win. Are you fucking... Have you ever seen an elephant? Are they thinking like a baby elephant? Are they Even saying a, like a mutilated elephant? Like a crippled one? One that was fucking mauled by goddamn hyenas or some shit? Just keep in mind, these are these are Americans answering this question, which fucking makes me sad. They're my fucking people, but also, it makes me it makes me sad. It makes me sad. Look, have you like so, like some of these? I can understand like where the misguided mindset. Like people are like, oh yeah, you know, I could take a fucking crocodile with my bare hands. Like okay, I guess I can see how somebody might think that. How do you fucking look at an elephant and say, yeah, I can fight that with my bare hands? Bro, I you'll can... break both of your fists trying to make a dent in it. And it'll just pick you up with its trunk and fucking toss you. Like, it's... It's... Literally, an elephant looks at you the same way we look at puppies. They think we're fucking cute. And so you're gonna start punching it and be like, oh, that's adorable. And then fucking squash you. I also... Yeah. Also, uh, 14% think they can take on a kangaroo, and I guarantee you it's from that video of that one guy punching a kangaroo in the face and then walking away while it's stunned. Here's the thing, that was an Australian. That was Australian, wasn't it a fake video also? I think so, yeah. Yeah, like... Here's the thing, they used to put kangaroos in the, in the ring with boxers, and the kangaroos didn't just punch, they also kicked, and they're, on their feet, they have really sharp nails. Like really, also, really sharp. Yeah, they do. They do. So you know, they, you know, they, they jump a lot. They have a lot of leg muscle. It's just like I look at like look at the metrics of this, and I'm like, Americans are either really fucking prideful or really fucking stupid. You know, a little of both. It's like I, of both. I can look objectively at a gorilla and go, "There's no fucking way that." I, anybody, 
even the strongest man could take on one of those. No way in hell. Not I can. Barehanded. I can. Yeah, not barehanded at all. Like with your bare fists. No. You yeah, throw no, one. No. You throw one punch at a gorilla, and it would fucking bite your hand off, and then proceed to beat you to death. Yeah, literally. You can look at an elephant and go, this thing is fucking massive. All it needs to do I, is... I think, that, I think the issue with a lot of people is like, oh yeah, the gorilla's only gonna punch me, Lamau. It's like, no, the gorilla's a fucking wild animal. It'll punch, it'll kick, it'll, it'll bite, tear it'll you spit, apart. It'll, do what, it'll do whatever the fuck it takes to kill you because you are a threat. They regularly get into fist fights in zoos just because they get fucking bored. All like right, when you know, male dominance and all that shit. When your species literally throws hands just as a casual pastime, you kind of gotta take into perspective. I mean, our species does throw hands as a casual pastime. Boxing. Yes, but Any we time put of martial arts. We, as a matter of fact. Yes, but we at least have the courtesy to put some, you know, protective protective measures on our handsies. Uh, the gloves actually, as it turns out, there's actually a study done. It shows that gloves actually make people punch harder because it doesn't hurt your hands to hit. So yeah, it makes it a, yeah, it makes it a yeah, it makes it a lot worse. Yeah, it makes it a lot worse. So people are putting a lot more impact on. That's why I, I'm usually very interested whenever I see actual like bare knuckle fighting. Bare okay. knuckle boxing, yeah. I like, can because tell. You'll, you'll see. You'll see it. They they do tape the hands up because you fucking have to. Like you're gonna fuck up your hands otherwise. But I like seeing bare knuckle boxing because you do get to see how people fight without the protection of the gloves. Because the gloves are there for your protection, not the other guys. Ugh. I, I just want to show all these, like, the people who are like, Oh, I could take on a gorilla who will just punch me, Lamau. I want to show them a video of, like, a gorilla grabbing onto, like, a fucking banana tree and ripping the fucking thing out by the roots. Like, just ripping it out, root and all. It's like, oh, the, look, tree. Oh, oh, ban banana, banana up high. Me bring tree low. If me not ape man, why me kill my brother for banana? Also, like, like, another, like, even more of them, more than the gorilla think that they can take on a chimpanzee, like 17% think they could take on a chimpanzee with their bare hands. I would like to show and reference everybody to an actual event that happened back in the 70s called the Gombe National Park Chimp War, which was an actual territorial war that, as humans, we categorized it as a war because there were leaders and commanders for the two different factions and the female faction the mostly female faction took great efforts whenever they captured a male of the rivaling tribe they took great efforts to torture that male to death and put them to death so if these things will commit infanticide like cannibalistic infanticide and display the corpses of the slain males just to show dominance? Do you really think you're gonna beat that thing with your bare hands? Oh, absolutely that fucking not. That thing will grab the nearest rock or blunt object, break your fucking legs, and then proceed to just pummel on your chest until you're spitting strawberry jam. Honestly, you probably wouldn't even need a rock to break your fucking legs. That kind of arm power, it could just grab them and fucking twist. Yeah, it's yeah. like, it's like, do people just look at the at, at primates and go, "Ha ha, dumb, stupid, pre, dumb, stupid, less evolved human can beat hands." So yeah, <sighs> it aren't like monkeys and like apes in general starting to just reach the stone age? Yeah, they like, used, like... yeah, they use tools and whatnot. Like, in the 70s, like, that was the biggest, like, piece of evidence that they were starting to progress because they started implying war ta- like, employing war tactics. Like, ambushes and shit. Also, here's- here's the video of the gorilla fucking pulling the tree down. Banana tree- banana up high! Me need banana, bring it low! 
Bring banana down. I don't know how we got into the convert how you guys got in the conversation of the strength of a of an ape. Uh, we were talking about uh, animals that people stupidly thought they could take on, and a gorilla was one of them. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. That's bear was one of them. Or like, okay, so grizzly bear was one of them. No. Uh, the crocodile was one of them. Definitely no. Elephant. Uh, uh, elephant, yeah. Elephant was one of them. <laughs> oh, shit. An elephant would crush the only you with one, one I kind staff. of agree with is eagle, and it honestly it depends on what kind of eagle as well. Yeah, so like just... the the full. What well, were you saying, if Golden? It a, if, if it was a bald eagle, it'd be kind of a tough call because those things are fucking massive. Like eagles themselves are very big birds, but yeah, it would wholly depend on what kind of eagle that you're fighting in order for me to determine if I could take it in a fight. I don't think I could take a bald eagle. That motherfucker's huge. It's like half my size. Yeah, like the uh, the full list is rat, house cat, goose, medium-sized dog, eagle, large dog, chimpanzee, king cobra, kangaroo, wolf, crocodile, gorilla, elephant, lion, and grizzly bear. I think the best way okay, to put it so, is any kind of animal you want to try to face against, just don't do it. Oh, these are these are animals that America like Americans think that they could beat barehanded. Yeah, just that's don't the get other involved. thing is barehanded. Fucking. Uh, I mean, look, you're not well, having Gilmore. Going you're not going to actually go and fight them, but they're saying they could beat them if they had to barehanded, I mean, which I'm saying is fucking horseshit. You're full it's, of it. It's stupid. Just you're not. It's happy hubris. Gilmore. You're not happy Gilmore. You're not gonna go and take on a fucking crocodile, thinking you can be hot shit. No, you're gonna get your fucking hand bit off. Also, it was an alligator in Happy Gilmore. Crocodiles are the more evolved version, the more deadly, the big ones, yeah. the biggins. Okay, even an alligator. You just don't fucking yeah. do it. It's so dumb. 